All right, YouTube, today we're going to play some humans. This is my first league with the deck, so it's probably going to be a well, second league with the deck. I played like a little warm up one, struggled a little bit earlier, but I'm going to give it a try. This is probably my, f this is a deck that I, that I will probably end up playing for the SCG Baltimore in the modern seat. So a little unfortunate because I love playing Death Shadow, but I just can't. It's so hard when these human decks are just so good. And they just beat up all over these. Um, they just beat up on these Death Shadow decks. Hey, Taco, how you doing? Give this a whirl. I do like how this deck, what this deck's doing. It's, it's aggression backed up by disruption, you know, which is my jam. Jump into it. I'm interested to get some reps in with this deck. You know, Moto is super, super laggy as today. So I think I got a mulligan this. I have four lands. I don't have any disruption. And none of them are canopies. So I think you just ship this. No land heater. I'm gonna keep this and try to scry a land at the top. This deck's actually good if I get a land. This game could be over quick though. It's probably already over. All right, lucky, lucky. So we do have some good tools to play against a control deck. <coughs> I hear this is a bad matchup. So it's tough to start a bad matchup on a mulligan of five. But what are you going to do? At least we have four spells. Yeah, everybody's good at something, man. It's a pretty good draw. Oh, we're playing against a... So what they do with this? They went bottom top. I hate how this does this. All right, we're just going to take this verdict. I might meddling mage the snapcaster if they don't go snap serum visions here. Okay, they did. So they went planes, snap serum visions here. No, they still have another planes. They have a planes in there. Okay, I think we're just gonna hit them again. This cavern of souls gonna name human. Let me see what they did with this. They put they put one on the bottom and one on top. So I wonder if it's okay. I wonder if it's right for me to go meddling mage naming terminus. I think I'm gonna do that. Um, we got Dampening Sphere in the sideboard. Terminus. And then we'll crack in here. Just checking out a little Philboy behind me. Then next turn, we can go Freebooter into Lieutenant. They just have like Supreme Verdict. No, the Jason Mind Sculptor. Okay. Oh, the Supreme Verdict's right there. <clears throat> That's interesting. So they're going to put the Entreat back on top, which isn't good for us because they're going to Entreat for a couple next turn at least. At least we're going to be able to kill this. We can have the option to kill this Jace, but then our opponent's going to Entreat for. I guess the miracle cost is maybe we don't treat for two angels. That was actually a pretty sick draw because we just go like meddling mage and treat the angels. 
and then we crack the J's for two. Alternatively, I can just Thalia's Lieutenant here and deal with the two angels with the Reflector Mages. I kind of like doing that. I think I want to just get the Jace off the battlefield. I get to attack attack Jace with this, and then I can go like Reflector Mage one, Image, Reflector Mage the other, while growing my Lieutenant. Only 200 Dominator pre-release pulled a... Nice! It's a good pre-release there, Taco Man. Yeah, so I think we're just going to go like this. Kill the Jace. And I can Reflector Mage a, um, an Angel this turn. I assume an Angel's coming here. But they would stop my draw step. Yep, so they can treat for two. That's cool. So it appears my opponent has a path to exile. So if they have a path to exile, I actually, like this just screams path. It's either path or spell snare. So I think I'm just gonna put this phantasmal image on the stack. And see what my opponent does here. Because I can either copy this and then attack. I still can I can attack. Well, I can't attack, but I can copy this thing if I if it resolves. If I can go this and name like Path to Exile, then a lot of their removals is shut out here. So let's go blue. Colorless. Name path to exile. Then we'll pass. Next turn, we're probably going to start reflector raging these angels. And then we can start getting in there with at least this. It's an opt. Okay. We kind of have a lot. We got a lot of stuff. Um, what is this? A Supreme Verdict would be pretty bad. Hey, what is going on? My dog is wired back there. I would love to draw land so that I could go like double spell or at least have the option to do that. If I double spell, this can attack through an angel. Okay, so I thought I was just going to like the beats, beats plan here. Okay. Okay, so now what is stop it. Hey. Man, Philly is going nuts. Illusion. So I kind of have to play this freebooter because the freebooter is going to, well, no, I need to chump with two of these. I'm actually in trouble here and I didn't think of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play freebooter. If my opponent attacks with one angel, I'll chump with a freebooter. If they attack with both angels. I need one more mana. Well, actually, here's what I can do. I can Reflector Mage, bounce this, block with this thing if they fire up the Colonnade, and then get it with the other Freebooter next turn. Now, I think I'm going to I think I'm gonna Reflector Mage this so that I get a free block here if I need to. So let me get white... Bounce one of these, and then it gives me 
attacks, good attacks with a couple of my creatures. If my opponent doesn't attack with this, if my opponent just attacks with this, I'm not going to block. I'm going to play a, another, I'm going to play a Thalia into another Freebooter next turn. My opponent attacks with both, I'm obviously going to block. Getting a little punished not having an out to this, like leave, like when I, when I image this, getting a tad punished there. We're just going to take this, go down to four. Looks like my opponent's going to hold this thing back to block. Snapcaster. Are they just going to entreat for one angel? Yeah, they're just going to make an angel. Okay. All right. So next turn. So I need to find, actually, I need to find a piece of interaction here or I'm just dead. Or I need to force the angel to block, which is going to be difficult. Ether vial is not it. So we're in trouble now. Let's cast this. I'm just dead on the board. So let's just take this logic knot. Get in here with the Thalia's Lieutenant. And then maybe my opponent doesn't make the attack for some reason. This is unfortunate. I feel like I had the tools to win this game, even on a mulligan to five. And I squandered it. Which is a little frustrating. How's it going, Archmage? Okay, Sin Collector's good. Um, that's kind of it. I don't really have a lot in my sideboard for this, this matchup here. I guess I can cut the Malcontent. It's going to make me play into a Wrath. Yeah, that's tough. It's tough doing, doing that. I guess like Selfless Spirit's probably fine if they have Supreme Verdict. Probably better than Reflector Mage. Hostage Taker can take my own creatures to kind of protect me from Wraths. But I don't really know how many fives I want in my deck. Or fours I want. They're probably better than these Reflector Mages though. <coughs> <coughs> like worst comes to worst. I can Hostage Taker removal take an Angel out. Or like I can reset one of my ETBs in the late game, or I can like play it as wrath proof. I mean, he's pretty weak, but the reflector mages also seem god awful. And I would see like nothing else. Like the graph diggers cages are like maybe, but that's kind of I feel like that's misevaluating my role in the matchup. I'm gonna try this. I can see this not being right, but we're gonna get to. I think we're gonna get to the mana. We've got. We're playing it to Path to Exile deck, so it's gonna happen eventually. I guess I could like also bring in the Necromancers. We got a Mulligan. This we don't have any redraws. All right, we'll keep this. We have a decent curve. We want lands or Thalia? Yeah, let's put that on top. Hand's actually pretty good, I think. Human. So I think I lead on Thalia. Get Thalia down. Well, no, I don't have a Thalia. Sorry, I thought this was a Thalia. 
So yeah, we're just definitely gonna meddling mage. Probably name like Path to Exile with the first meddling mage, and then name like Supreme Verdict with the next one. Oh no, Thalia's on top. Yeah, we're definitely gonna play Thalia next turn and get in there for two. And then start meddling maging. Probably this is just gonna start copying this. I lived in Portland, Maine for a summer on an internship. And that was like very, that was very expensive. Just to live in a place for just a semester. So let's cast this. <coughs> Opt, okay. We put a card on the bottom. I think we're still gonna name Path to Exile. If they kept on top, I might name Terminus there, but. I just want a place to sleep and use the internet. I don't ask for a lot. How much damage is taking next turn? Four. So they're not just dead. This rest though should should lock this game up. If we can cast this though. Now I just want to do this. Or I guess we can meddling mage name Terminus also, because Terminus kind of gets us here. Copy meddling mage. Dude, it's so nice how you can just like lock play like lock pieces in this deck. Do I want to trade this with a Snapcaster Mage? Probably not. Yeah, they got a Snapcaster Mage here. They're not gonna use it, okay. So I'm not sure what they, I guess they, they can't even play a Jace, they can play Detention Sphere. They can play Sphere and get both my Meddling Mages. Okay. On the play, I think the Necromancer is actually better than one of these. This makes it so we have like Supreme Verdict. <coughs> We've out to that. I don't think I want anything else. Maybe on the draw. No, because these do the same thing. Reflector Mage. Like, Hot Shaker, I think, is a little more utility. If they can play, I don't know what artifact. They can play, like, a Batter Skull. I don't know. Something weird. <clears throat> uh, Levi W703, I appreciate the follow if you're still in the chat. Um, So, what are we going to do with this hand? I think I have to mulligan, right? Because this is my only turn two play, and this is a really bad thing to Phantasmal Image. That being said, I have three draw steps to get to draw something good to Image. Yeah, this just feels poor, I think. I think I can do better. I did, like, marginally better. Yeah, I think we can just, like, stack Meddling Mages. I guess the best way, one of the best ways for us to win, to set lock pieces. Cavern Souls, name human. The sync collector is a very good draw. Now we have a Serum Visions here. I 
Put two cards on the bottom. So I think I named Path to Exile. That's a great draw. But I think I think I named Path with the first one. Then we go Sin Collector, and then double. Oh man, that is just vomit inducing. That is, I'm gonna throw up. That sucks. That sucks, the old natty tournament. Now I know what it's like to play against this in modern. This is just an instant or sorcery, so it can't hit like a Jace. All right. Uh, black, white. Just take the Supreme Verdict. I guess I could have taken the Cryptic Command and made them like Cryptic bounce something, like bounce one of these or bounce this, but that seems pretty mopey. Time of reinforcements, okay. Well, now I'm just gonna Phantasmal image this and hit this Cryptic. Uh, blue. White. Ooh, because of how I tapped, I actually need to name Spirit with this, unless I'm going to... Yeah, I've got to name Spirit. I think I messed up. I think it would have been better for me to go meddling mage named Terminus. But then I can get got by Supreme Verdict. No. I have to. White. And I'm just gonna pass. My opponent wants to like race and that's okay. So this colonnade is going to get pretty annoying. I need some way to pump my creatures. Or this, this colonnade is like going to get to me eventually. So I have Supreme Verdict covered. I think my name here with this meddling mage is Terminus. It's either Terminus or Jace. One on top, one on bottom. There's the planes. Opponent is attacking. That's interesting. I mean, this colony is going to put a beating on me. Oh, I can't do this. <clears throat> this down terminus I think I'm just swinging with a team my opponent wants to trade off with these these things have done their job I guess I could the problem is is that this colonnade is going to start smacking me for four a turn and I'm already kind of behind in that race so I think I do have to start getting aggressive they can go trade trade I'm going to feel pretty punished if I hit like a Thalia's Lieutenant, but like, such is life. I wonder if it's worth, I think we're going to like let these trade off there, but if they had a block with two, I wonder what if, if it would have been worth me leaving, um, leaving this, or like sacking this self of spirit. Because they like mini wrath my board. 
This is Jace. Yeah, that was the second card that I was thinking about naming. Got a brainstorm. So as it stands now, we can get this Jace off the battlefield here, unless my opponent hits something really good. Put Temple of Enlightenment down. That's cute. Let's go on the bottom. It's kind of a cool way to mini get away, get rid of your brainstorm. I think I'm gonna get hit this. So white. I'm in, I'm in like, I'm in a tough way, I think. The Thalys Lieutenant was a pretty good draw. All those going to Jace. I guess, like, I still messed up because I could have, I mean, I didn't beat Path to Exile regardless, but I didn't give myself the option. Like, I should have, if I reflect, because they can go Chump Chump, they get another Jace activation. Yeah, maybe that was poor. Maybe I should have played the Reflector Mage and bounced this. But like the longer I have this in play, the better it is for me. Pat. So that means they have like Terminus incoming. Which is wicked, wicked bad for the home team. So this is a... Nope, no Terminus. Sweet. But now they're brainstorming with Jace with a bunch of mana. This isn't good. Either way, we either way we look at this. Honestly, the best thing for us right now is if my if my opponent just like fired up this colonnade and started like if my opponent goes to activate this colonnade, I'm gonna be like, thank God. And it's kind of awkward because I have to put something else on the board here. Because if I don't, then my opponent just goes like... Block here. And this is like such a mopey trade. Eat. Like block this or block this. And then they get the Jace. And then it's like Selfless Spirit and Reflector Mage against Jace. And three cards and a Colonnade. So we're, we're in a bad way. Field of Ruin. <coughs> Field of Ruin shuffles their library, which is kind of cool. This sucks so much because I, I like have to, like have to play on the board here. I don't really see a way that I win this game where I don't get on the board. Hit this, send all the morons at Jace. Always yield. I'm not gonna play this Thalia until after combat. Attack Jace, attack Jace, attack Jace. This is a colonnade block. I'm, I'm not super sad about that. All right, so because of that block, I don't think I'm gonna like. I don't think I'm gonna play anything, get anything else on the board. Put her on top and drew. I'm gonna guess that we get verdicted here. It's gotta be a free verdict, right? Another Jace. Gross. Though this is like kind of a weak Jace. Unless they've got like instant speed draw step terminus. 
I feel like my opponent's just barely treading water. Like they're not they're not like winning with their Jace, which is kind of good, I guess. I guess I put this on the stack. And it makes my opponents. And then if this resolves, I'm gonna play. I'm just gonna play another Thal. I'm gonna play Thalia if this resolves, because it's gonna make this four. And I'll send this at J. I'll send all everything at Jace. I think we're kind of at the point of the game where we we gotta like we gotta go for it here. Yeah, here comes opt in the terminus, I think. Snapcaster Mage. Okay, so there's the path. He has the path with this on the stack. He lets us resolve. All right, now I don't think we're respecting anything anymore. We're gonna go Terminus. Attack Jace, attack Jace. <coughs> and now we're just going for broke here. Jace is at one. Still pretty soft like and treat the angels. Been a fun game. Been a fun match. I think I had the tools to win game one, which frustrates me. I think I should have won the first match. Or the first game of the match. Land. So I guess we can just keep putting these on the stack. It's not a human. I think if humans had a good card draw spell, the deck would actually be 100% busted. So I can just kill my meddling mage. If it comes down, I think I'm going to name... Now what do I name? Probably Path to Exile. It's either Path to Exile, Snapcaster Major, and Treat. The fact that it resolved makes me think it's not Path. So I think it's just Entreat the Angels. So I'm going to send not the one with Terminus on it. I'm going to send this and this at Jace. Hold these two back. I'm going to be very sad if there's a path here. No, they're just going to fire up. If they just fire up and eat one of these, that's fine. Oh, click. That's gross. They're clicking themselves. Then use it. All right. Yeah, that was bad. And then didn't click there. And their card, their last card is still good. So it's gonna be, this is gonna be tough. We're just gonna get Jace out of this game. That's actually not too bad. 
So I think we send both of these at Jace. Hope my opponent blocks this one, and then we can resto it. And then get, like, probably still name, like, Terminus with it. Who are we targeting? This is unfortunate because now I can just fire this up and eat this. So still probably naming Terminus. Or it should probably not even treat. Yeah, I probably shouldn't even treat the angels with this one because this one's gonna die. And I'm more scared of and treat the angels than terminus at this. I mean, I, I can't beat anything. I need my opponent to like stop doing things to me. I basically need my opponent to like draw duds for the rest of the game, which just isn't gonna happen. So they fire up this colonnade. Opt, which means I can't fire up Colonnade. Oh, their top card was Terminus. Yeah. All right, we are we're good here. So they kept floating a Terminus. They just couldn't get rid of it. Well, that sucked. I mean, we mulliganed a we mulliganed a five game one and almost one and mulliganed a six in the post board games. So close. So close. Hopefully we can run off the rest of these. I probably have a long stream tonight because I, I got a lot of work to do. I got to figure this thing out here if I'm going to play it. I got to put some effort into, into this at least. Uh, this game's pretty good. Hopefully we're playing like a creature matchup. Because we can like Reflector Mage, fan Image Reflector Mage, Cycle Street Wraith. So if we're playing against Hollow One, this hand's probably pretty good against Hollow One. Oh no, we're playing against Gen Death Shadow. Nice. Oh, this deck holds such a special place in my heart. I'm surprised they cycled first without, unless they cycled into the bobble, which is probably what they did. My hand's kind of weak to a discard spell because they just take this Reflector Mage and I don't have anything going on. Yep. Let's take Mage. Yep. So what are we looking for here? We're looking for just more... We're basically looking for just Reflector Mages. kind of cool if my opponent plays a Tarmogoyf we can image it and then attack over the top of it with our Tarmogoyf more bobbles hands not a heater anymore Johnny we got thought seized which happens to the best of us I'm gonna grab some more water I'll be right back New love seeing turn one. I played a turn one shadow. That does not happen very often, though. So what do we need here? They already drew off their bobble. So is this coming in to play tapped? Oh, so I'm playing against Grixia Shadow with, like, bobbles. So we're going to push this. We're going to dismember this. All right. So we need... They dismember this, then I'm dead to sh any source of damage plus team or battle rage. Play this. 
Pass. Bring it turn three. Give me infinity. That happens. There's aggressive decks that like do damage to you. Or when you have like explosive dismember draws. <clears throat> what do we got here? You gonna bolt me? Faithless looting. Okay, here we go. Playing looting in our Death Shadow deck. I mean, it's kind of cool. Ditches a Gurmag Angler and a Thought Scour. Damn. We might be imaging up this noble hierarch and going to town here in a second. I think that's exactly what we're doing. Yeah, we're in a we're in a tough spot. What are they doing here? They're trying to figure out how much damage to do themselves. They know I have two, at least two points of power. So if they're going to fetch here. It's going to come into play tapped. And then I lose. I don't even lose. I, 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 they need double removal spell. Because I'm just going to chomp. I think I'm actually going to win this game. We were going to lose the battle range. But like such is life. But I'm actually, I'm actually a little confident in what's going on right here. That's the cost of doing business, though. You play this deck, and you just got to be totally cool with losing the Battle Rage. It's tapped. Whoa! Oh, so they got to they gotta push for this. No, they have another Shadow. That's tough. This is a nasty, the old nasty girl, nasty. We need Mantis Rider wins us the game. Malcontent wins us the game. We do have some draws. Reflector Mage. Mantis Rider, Reflector Mage, Keswick Malcontent. Okay. Well, that gets me an angler. Gets me nasty, or nasty. I actually can just play both of these. And just get two anglers. I have to chump an angler away, but that makes so this angler they have, they have to block with it next turn. So we just block here. My opponent battle rages, they battle rage, they bolt us, they bolt us. They only have one draw, and then they have to chump. We then block the shadow with the hierarch. Where's the gut shot? If only. Yeah, I think I had like... I had seven draws in my deck that just won the game there. But seven out of whatever, 51. So like, we have to get lucky to do that. Alright, so this is good for the home team. Because, oh, I guess I could have copied the shadow. I didn't realize my life total was so low. I'm just like always, I just didn't even think about it, Johnny. I should have definitely copied these shadows. Because like I could have gone double block. No, I couldn't have gone double block on this and kill it. They still would have gotten one. Yep, would have been good to get the shadows there. 
I've played this matchup from the other side. They never copied the Shadow. Because they're usually not low enough of a life total. So they discard Island Shadow. <clears throat> Alright, come on. Alright, everybody likes a redraw. Man. Should I pass turn? Dot scoured. Wow. Jeez. We're building the house. We are building a house. Yeah, the horizon canopy just. Yeah. <laughs> That'd have been sweet. Yeah, I mean, it's just wrong. Like, because they're, they're still the same creature. And they all die the same things. Like, this still dies to Fatal Push and Lightning Bolt. Confirmed. We are late into the game. <coughs> yeah, we've got... We, once again, we have seven draws that win us the game. Can't be Battle Rage. Like, you know, that's how it is. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep the cards from here. All I had to do was just trade in my, like, leftover tickets. And I picked up four canopies, a Vile, and an Oriok Champion. And then the rest of it was within my... Uh, within my whatever it is my credit limit so i think i think i'm gonna keep these and keep playing humans that's very good my opponent's probably wondering if they can attack so can you do pillow power with those pickups they don't have canopy in there right but pillow power deck doesn't have canopy there nathan All right, so now we know they have an interaction, which is not good. I have no clue anymore. There's lose to battle rage. So they have another thing here. I think I think all the same things still win. Time them out. God. Then we just wait. They obviously wouldn't have done this if they didn't have a play here. Snap, okay. And again, we gotta chump here, probably chump this, and then look for Mantis Rider. Yeah, it's been a, been a tough draw. It's been a tough draw. Fatal push, targeting nasty. Then we chump this. Now our draw. Now we. Now it's just. It's just Mad Strider. <clears throat> Two lands, five creatures. What man? What I wouldn't do.
Kish, uh, I'm glad I can entertain Kish. Because we are just building... We are building a bunch of bricks here. Yeah, they should just attack with this. It's the same thing. I mean, unless they have, like, a lightning bolt. All right, Mad Strider. One time. Oh, my God. Ugh. Oh, that's a little frustrating. Okay. So, against the Shadow Decks, Sin Collector's good. Hostage Taker's good. Dismember's good. Selfless Spirit might be all right. Cards that aren't great. This Restoration Angel's probably slow. Well, no, nah, because I get in the air. Um, you probably can cut, shave a number of these against the discard deck. Reflector Mage, Mantis Rider, Malcontents are all very good. Um, Thalia's great. The images are pretty good. I guess like Freebooter's a little rough because it dies to K Command. Then so does Meddling Mage. I want these cards in here. Maybe I just cut all my vials. Because if you draw two, it's dead. And sometimes you can draw like one and then they hit you with a discard spell and that's kind of like everything that's got here. And this card's pro black. Yeah, that card's very good as well. All right, we're gonna cut these. And then we're just gonna like We're just going to shave some stuff here. Yeah, this is what we're going to do. I don't have any idea. The selfless spirit's probably kind of medium, actually. I shouldn't have the selfless spirit in there, I don't think. Yeah, this hand's pretty good. One, two, three, four. Oh man, the resto can like reset some stuff. It's pretty sweet. Human. I feel like just incoming something stupid here. Resto's tight. Yeah, I think the resto's cool. I don't know how good it is, but it is cool. I hear the Bob's not very good in the deck. So, like, I guess it's a good sub out for Bob. Yeah, I I can't stand. That's why, like, I was trying to play Grixis for this event. And, like, you just can't beat Reflector Mage. Like, you go Gurmag Angler and they bounce it. And it's just like, yeah, that's just vomit-inducing. Okay, so this probably takes... It can break my curve up. Though if they break my curve up, this hits like a Tarmogoyf. Oh, it's a, or a Delph card, yeah. They're probably thinking I'm gonna be able to like outpace this champion here. This one will probably be Illusion. And unfortunately, we gotta, we can't, we kind of like have to attack here. We can't necessarily chip shot our opponent. I really want to bounce this Dahlia's Lieutenant with my resto. Goals.
I probably shouldn't have cut Reflector Mage because Reflector Mage, like the more Reflector Mages I have, the more copies of um, whatever this card is I have, and that's probably worth it. Here comes, we got Nasty coming in. Here comes Nasty. This is why I like the Bobbles a lot in the Grixis deck. It just enables turn two Gurmy. That's not a bad draw. Dahlia is pretty annoying. And if my opponent taps out on their turn, then I'm just going to resto this in order to uh, be able to attack with this thing. Fatal Sliding, okay. All right, so we're going to be able to get in because we're going bouncing this thing, cracking them for six, which puts them to eight, which means the champion is still bigger than a Death Shadow, which is kind of nice. I like the Bobbles a lot better, Brendo. They're like... They know I have it, though, so they're not going to block. Well, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it on my turn regardless. That's what that's what I meant to say. Yeah, the champion's good. I'm gonna do it on my turn regardless because I don't want them to like kill whatever I target. So I'm gonna attack. If they don't block, then I'm just gonna bounce my lieutenant. If they block, I'm gonna bounce my lieutenant. Either way, like I would rather just get that trigger to get in for the points. Let me be right back. Let me grab some slippers. So here comes a shadow. Okay. This is gonna name illusion. Okay, so I think we're still going to do the same thing. The problem is, what do I do here? If he double blocks, do I kill the Angler or the Death Shadow? Alternatively, I can just Freebooter and maybe get more. But the problem is, I don't want to. I don't want to resto and then and like and build this thing up and then have to resto it. You know what I mean? Attack with all three of them. The problem is if I attack with all three of them. Well, what happens if I do attack with all three of them? If I attack with all three of them, they probably put this Death Shadow here. This sucks. Bounce this attack. I tap it off three. They probably block this thing. Block here. I bounce take six. Like they can just go here and here, and then it's like a shitty attack for me though. Block here, block here. Then I'm one of my creatures is dying regardless. I basically think I want to trade my champion and perish for this death shadow and then i want a three four flyer in the air i think that's kind of where i want to be
Because like it's 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 so miserable racing this card. I can race this card. If my opponent just takes it here, I might actually play Kite Sail Freebooter after combat in order to fish out a team of Battle Rage. But I definitely should get try to get this off the battlefield if I can. Because even without like this thing, geez. So that means he's got a battle rage. Okay, so we're just gonna let, do the four damage. I'm gonna play the freebooter, take my opponent's battle rage. To sniff out this team or battle rage. It's just a faithful looting. Huh. And an Inquisition. Alright, well, we're gonna take this looting. The Inquisition doesn't do anything. They can flash a looting back. I really thought there was gonna be a battle rage there. I'm a little punished for that. Though my opponent still doesn't have very good attacks. Because like they attack me with a shadow, I'll take it. They attack me with nasty. I'll probably just double block here. Because they would need to have ripped a removal spell. <coughs> they can't cast looting before combat. They can't cast looting after combat if they have a removal spell. And then if they attack with both, they're dead to a human. Really interesting match. Really interesting. Might not be super fun to watch as it's, it's slow. There's a lot going on. All right, we're just going to take this. This leaves us quite a bit of outs to just kill our opponent. Because this attacks, we have three, six, seven. We have six in play. Three, five, six in play. They're dead to like a Reflector Mage, but they're probably dead to Reflector Mage anyways. Yeah, they're dead on board to Reflector Mage. Opponent gets in a chip shot. Play Island. Okay, so they had the push. Wow, that's good. What does that do? Block here. Two, four, six. Well, I think we actually just play it cool, right? Because our last card's Inquisition. Though they're definitely going to cast the Inquisition. Now that they have this in here. So I think we just get in here and we beat for four. Or is there a way that we can beat and still beat Battle Rage? I don't think we can beat and still beat Battle Rage off the top, right? Because we get in for three, this becomes nine power. We put four. We put four, six. Six power in front of it. Nine, 18 plus six. It's 13 chump. So we actually can attack... Oh, we can block with a Mantis Rider, too. Okay, so now, yeah, we're definitely getting in here. Definitely getting in. I didn't think we could block with a Mantis Rider. So white, blue, red. I think we're just attacking with, with uh, the Mantis Rider, though. 
because his two points of power could be relevant. Well, this means they're just dead in the Mantis Rider next turn. Tight game. Very, this has been a really interesting game. So depending on my opponent attacks, we're going to see if we can beat Battle Rage. Because this is 7 here. 7 points plus 1 point. So we can currently beat Battle Rage if we block with everything. But if we block with everything, then we lose. Um, we don't have anything for the next turn. Then we have another Death Shadow. So we're probably just not realistically beating Battle Rage anyway. So we just have to hope they don't find a Battle Rage. This is what this matchup feels like from the Death Shadow side. It feels like Battle Rage or Bust. Like they got me in game. Okay, so they're dead. Because they played their land. They're going to try to go looting. How do I beat a removal spell? Looting, discard into one removal spell. One removal spell hits here. I think we just go like this. Because now we beat a removal spell. We beat two removal spells. What if one removal spell hits here? No, actually I should just go like this. Yeah, to make, the, make it cost as much on the way back. Okay. I'm going to grab some more water while I sideboard here. I don't want this selfless spirit. We're getting this out of here. I'm getting another phantasmal image though. And then we're going like this. I think this is what I want to do. The necromancer, maybe. Necromancer is really annoying. The hostage taker might be a little slow in the draw. We're going to go like this. It just makes combat a nightmare. Yes. I think it's like, I think it's an absolutely atrocious matchup, which is why I feel so nervous playing Death Shadow at this event. Like, it's, the problem is it goes wide and tall. Like, and it's just tough to beat. I think we have to keep this hand because we have so many redraws. It's, good. it's pretty good against Thoughtseize. And plus, like, this card's really good here. Like, this is just a really redundant hand. It's very good against Thoughtseize. They don't have Thoughtseize, then, like, Mantis Rider's just gonna... Bzz. And honestly, just mulliganing against the Thoughtseize deck is just vomit-inducing anyways. Ooh, Lava Man is not good for the home team. They just go like discard spell, hit your Mantis Rider, shoot this, I'm gonna vomit. Oh, are we gonna get nasty here? No, they're just gonna shoot it. Okay. That gives them so much more fuel though. Oh man, the phantasmal image. This image is probably gonna end up copying this malcontent and winning the game. That's that's the game plan with that thing. Oh shit, I actually can't cast Mantis Rider unless I draw land. If my opponent shoots this. That's not good. This lava mancer is gonna body me. What's going on there, uh, Rafi? How are you doing tonight? You settled on your deck for the weekend, bud.
should be playing Mardu. Maybe. What are you playing? Are you going to play Jeskai or are you going to play Grixis? There it is. There it is. Oh boy. Okay, so Mantis Rider attack eight, take 10. Copy, take six. They go, these become eights. Block with one, die to this. The Mantis Rider game plan is not going to work. Maybe I have to do a Mantis Rider and stay at home. <laughs> yeah, the, the fact that they had this kind of interaction and double shadow with only one character is, is pretty solid. How do I win? So if I hit them here, I take 10. Then Malcontents. I think I have to play Mantis Rider Attack. I don't think I'm winning any other way. I need to draw some Reflector Mages. I think in order to give myself a shot here, this is what we're going to do. I also could end up imaging my opponent's Death Shadow. My opponent's probably like, what the fuck? They can just shoot it with a Lava Mancer. Give me my opponent to like 2-2 two, two damage themselves. No, they have a braid. Vom. What is he doing? Is he going to shoot himself? Is he going to shoot himself? I just don't have any outs, right? So we're gonna go copy this, shoot it. Deal my opponent one point of damage, shoot it. No, I can't even. Yeah, the, the, they just, like, picked off both my Noble Hierarchs. Yeah. They picked off both my Hierarchs, which just got me. Man, rough start to the league. Lost, I've lost two close matches. Two real nail-biters that I think... I don't think... I, I drew... I don't think I could have done anything differently in the other... In that second match against Grixis Shadow. I think I could have won game one against Blue-White Control... Yeah, I mean, they hit their sideboard card. Their sideboard card bodied me. Maybe I should play some Lava Mans in my Junda Shadow deck. If I play that this weekend. The other option was this was what... If I'm going to play one, I'm going to play something like this. Something similar 
to this. Maybe like one less lingering souls. Maybe, maybe like a lot. Maybe cut a lingering souls, cut a sphere, and play two lava man, and just really try to like beat this matchup up. Because this is gonna be everywhere. It was ten. It was like forty percent of the day two meta game. I think it's great. Yeah, I think you sideboard out a lot of your German anglers in this matchup, anyways. Deep in shipping anything that's not a land. Does we have a vial to help us out here? Chance is super good if we draw land, I think. The old lava man. I think I like how I sideboarded. <laughs> nice Facebook status, Cody. <laughs> Over 50 degrees. Look at this. Just words of wisdom from our guy. Yes, I would like to use a counter. Land. Oh god, I'm so good at this game. Um This one is illusion. <clears throat> I feel like I've also gotten a, like a rough go of it here. Oh my god. Alright, so... Just take lightning bolts. And then I've got to figure out the rest. Why does my opponent have to kill my shit? Or can't they just let me have my stuff? Play a tap land for Christ's sakes. Flooded strand, so. Or YOLO. Yes. Cabin of Souls will be sick. That is not sick. So I wonder if I'm actually supposed to go draw step, hit the... Well, no. I can't draw step, hit the Mana leak and hit this. So I know four out of their five cards. This is a good way to get me like blown out here. But I think it's like what we're doing. Maybe I should upkeep it now instead of draw step it in case they draw a removal spell and I don't get just murked, twofered by this. Yeah, I'm gonna do it with my opponent's upkeep. Or if they go if they crack if they crack this fetch land, I'm gonna do it. Or, shit, I super messed up there. I could have gone Thalia's Lieutenant, they cracked the fetch land, sink in my Phantasmal image. Damn it. I just missed. So wait, let's do, yeah, I missed damage there. Yep. Yeah, that was a punt. Well, now I might as well make that play, right? Don't compound my mistake with another mistake. I'm not actually taking this mana leap, right? Yeah, this was all stupid. 
Man, I am messing up all over the place. So they're going to leak this. And then I'm going to... If they're going to kill this with this on the stack... Okay, now I'm going to put this in. I guess it's like not super bad because I have to take the Supreme Verdict anyways. Like I'm not taking this, um, I'm not taking the Mana Leak. My opponent's building a house over there. But... You have to get a vile an image and then cast and then cast till after. I think I'm gonna keep this on two. I think all my best hits want this on two here. I'm probably just casting this. Reflector Mage. Well, I'm not Reflector Maging a Snapcaster. Dude, there's so much going on. Oh, god damn it. It is so annoying to tap mana on Moto for these cards. It also kind of sucks that my image is under the Supreme Verdict, so I can't, like, resto it. <coughs> I'm going to activate this at the end of the turn, I think. Opponent has one more land in their hand. So I don't move this up to three. I think I don't. I think I want this at two. I just hopefully, if I draw a land, I can play Resto. Oh man, that's a great land to draw. All right, we're just gonna crack for four. My opponent has any kind of interaction here. I'm just gonna puke. I feel like I have a ha I'm building a house full of cards, and this deck like eats that house alive. This is like a Scarab God. Shows up as the Scarab God. Like when the Scarab comes in. Return that to my hand. Okay, yeah. So we're going to get Verdicted. Hopefully this Restoration Angel takes us to the Promised Land. Going to leave this at two. I think all my best hits are still two. Oh, I went up to three. I hit yes. I didn't mean to do that. All right. I guess I can hit my. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna flash in seven points here, or six point five points of power. I do need to make sure that if my opponent, I really don't want to. Oh, so they have a lightning bolt. So I guess I can. They do that. They put a card on the bottom. I'm gonna feel so sad here if they go like they flash a snapcaster. Oh, it's the the ability doesn't even go on the stack. Okay. That's a pretty solid draw. It's gonna be tough to play it though. I 
think we're just gonna play into another like snap sweeper. Counter spell, okay. All right. I was trying to like get something going, try to blank something, but so they said they didn't even play a land. They have three spells. That's not good. <clears throat> I'm gonna wait on this image until I've got at least two creatures in play. Because they can just kill my image, kill the champion in response to the image, and then it doesn't copy anything. Let's get this into play. And now I'm going to cast the image. If my opponent's got two removal spells, then like so be it. We actually just kill them here if they have nothing. That that seems pretty. Pretty bold. If you have like bolt, snap, bolt, then we at least get to copy a snapcaster. They path that, okay. Oh yeah, you got another removal spell, dude? Yeah. Alright. All of these matchups seem so gross. So I think we want to cut our phantasmal images. Well, I think they're good. Like you're gonna get caught in a situation like that. Probably want sin collector, necromancer, selfless spirit. Oriok champion's probably okay. I'm gonna cut them out. Well, no, the all of these cards are worse than reflector mage. Let's get these reflector mages out of here. I guess the images. The images are probably better than the Reflector Mages. Graphdigger's Cage is like, all right. But I don't think I want to take anything out for it. I feel like this is, I feel like you're only supposed to like sideboard the Graphdigger's Cage in when you like need it. When you, when it's like, when it's like a, dread, a deck like Dredge or something like that. Like you're just mulliganing against a Snapcaster deck. All right, sands no one draw, but we at least have some action here. Cavern's a pretty good draw. We're just gonna try to curve here. I mean, it's gonna be tough to do, but at least all of our stuff's gonna resolve. Get that in the right order. Human. I think I'm still going to just cast this. It's going to help me curve better. Be careful of spreading seeds. Okay. Out of the blue, white, red decks, blue, white, red plays spreading seeds. Man, a lot of stuff going on here. I think I'm just going to jam this sin collector right now. Well, if my opponent, if my opponent like does something. I think I want to play the Mantis Rider. If they had like Lightning Bolt mana, I would go Sin Collector. But I think we're just going to jam the Mantis Rider. Red. You played Hierarch? I think that's the worst play. For me, it's not being efficient, right? Okay, I can do I can triple spell here, which is nice. Okay, that's a lot of path to exiles. So we're gonna think twice and a colonnade. I guess I just play chain. I guess I just like go for it, right? I mean, I can take a. Wrath and hope they don't have two.
I feel like you don't win this matchup not going for it. They have a Gideon, all right? My boy Gids. Gideon Click. This makes me wish I had the, uh, whatever it is in play. This makes me wish that I had um, Reflector Mage now again. Deals damage to target player. I wonder. I wonder if that got, like how that was worded. <coughs> All right, so here comes our Gideon for sure, right? Well, they're gonna click me. Okay. At least our hand's pretty good against click. There's no bolt. Okay. They click me on their on their main phase. That seems odd. This main phase click seems very odd. Maybe they want me to. Yeah, there's no sense in doing that. Oriac champion not really doing a lot here. I would assume my opponent just lets me have all this. This is miserable. This is just absolutely miserable. All right, let's start off here. Jeez. Oh, I can't do that. I guess I don't have to really worry about counter magic. God, these lands, having these lands are so difficult. We just like can't, we can't beat this Gideon, right? Like we, just, we can't beat this thing without Reflector Mages in our deck. I guess we can fly over the top of it. This has been rough. We might jump into another league real quick here. I feel like I have flooded out in these three games. But it has not been pretty. Here comes Gids. Big G. Alright. What? Oh, yes. Oh, um, yes. I guess a Mantis Rider here is really good as long as they don't have a Lightning Bolt. Then we have to deal with these frickin' Colonnades. I guess that's something. We're kind of free to do it here because I can't bolt this Oriok Champion. Always yes. Attack big gids. <coughs> Should I hold my lands? I'm probably not really fooling anybody, but the problem is they can just like tick this Gideon up. I guess that's not what they're gonna do here. I'm surprised that this guy still plays Think Twice when they can play Search for Escanta. I feel like Search for Escanta is the new Think Twice. E for two. Yeah, we're just gonna get we're getting like super browned here. Nice sequencing. Alright, that's actually the nut. Come on, dude, don't have it. 
one time. This makes me think they have like a Snapcaster Mage or they would have just like hit that here in order to save a point. We're about to get Snap Path, I think. Because they just had Lightning Bolt, they would, they'd hit this. Yeah, all right, we're good here. All right, I'm gonna run to the bathroom. And then jump back into another league. All right, here, let's go back to the deck. And I will be right back. Be back here. All right, let's jump back in here for another league. All right, humans. Tickets. All right. So I made a couple sequencing mistakes in that first round, that first match. Or not that first match, that first uh, event there. Not the first event, the first uh, league. But I think I got a little unfortunate, a little, uh, gosh, how this is. I think I got a little unlucky also. There, I think I drew, I drew a lot of lands, but I played, I played three bad, ma two bad matchups. And one guy that, he had the sideboard card there for me. So let's hope we can figure something out here. What is this? We're playing against Hollow One? No, we're playing against Ponza. That's great. That ether vial was actually like a sick draw. <coughs> if I just not get Blood Moon on two, that would be great. Really don't want to get Blood Moon. Come on. I just want to play my freebooter, dude. Oh, that's bad. It's five mana. No, three mana, so they can still get me here. That's kind of a mistake, right? Shouldn't they put it on here so they can get four mana? I mean, they probably just have like... I don't know, something... They probably just have like a stone rain or something. Oh, that's sweet. All right, so we're in it. All right, we're gonna get this freebooter in here. All right, we're gonna take a bolt. Pass the turn. Good hand. There's a good hand for my opponent. It's got stone rain too, so my opponent can just blood right off me, but they have a bad blood right off, so they probably just lightning bolt, yeah. 
It's just stone rain me. They shouldn't they shouldn't blood right off me until they see something sweet here. Don't do it, this is so bad. You're just gonna like blood right elf into Arbor Elf, dude. Come on, man. What is your game plan? To blood right elf into Arbor Elf. They also get a land, which is kinda cool. They clear the top of their library. They didn't choose to cast it. It must have just been a misclick. So he's still a lightning bolt, which is which is tough. So I can actually play Thalia. When they go to bolt, and they crack this, vial this in. Yeah, that's the plan. And then Thalia kind of holds, Thalia at least holds down the Bloodbraid Elf. And they'll let him stone rain me or whatever. I need to get on the battlefield here. Oh, they didn't go for it, okay. Inferno Titan on top. We're just like cards I can't beat. I guess I'm going to flash this Freebooter in here when they go to like do this. <clears throat> and then I'll hit this, uh, hit this Stone Rain. Oh yeah, I forgot they had two of them. At least I can, like, they're probably gonna go Titan into hit this with the Titan. I don't know, they might just tighten my face here. No. Human. One, two, yeah, I just have all the man in the world, so I'm as well like this. I'm not gonna vial this in. They might target this freebooter. With their uh, with their Inferno Titan, and then I might get lucky. Two, four. Oh man, they can they can cast the Titan without shuffling away this Tireless Tracker. That's so brutal. This is all so bad. This has been such an ass kicking. My best answer to this is just like a 6-6. Six, six. This is a bounce it, which doesn't seem great. Now that seems weird. Yeah, that seems like an odd play. I guess we'll just put this Thalia into play. Eat this Blood Red Elf. Take two. Try to figure this out. Mantis Rider will be good. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we're dead anyways. Ugh. 
All right, so I guess against this deck. I want probably Dismember. And the Oriok Champion's probably fine. <coughs> what do I have that's not any good? They're probably gonna bring in oh, all my cards. All these cards seem good on the play. Maybe Freebooter's not great. They don't have too many. Like, this doesn't hit a non-creature, so it also hits Blood Moon. Yeah, I feel like all these cards are good. Like, maybe I just cut a Malcontent and a Restoration Angel and bring in, like, the Dismember and a Reclamation Sage. Yeah, I got the plan. Hey, Johnny, how's it going? Yeah, you gotta get the moon, man. Go, go to the moon. All right. If I don't hit a second land, I'm in so much trouble. But if I do hit a second, if I just curve out, this hand's like wicked. I think I'm gonna keep this. I think I'm gonna leave with the vial. Oh, the ancient ziggurat doesn't make mana for the stupid thing. Yeah, that makes his hand so much worse. I did forgot this doesn't make mana for this thing. Ugh. Yeah, now I'm just like super dead because this doesn't make mana for it. Blech. Oh, you live and learn. Yeah, the leading with the vial. We I figured that out. It was a tad late. But I figured it out. Yeah, so I should have mulliganed this game. So we lose, we're going to lose this match because I should have mulliganed. Yeah, we're just going to move on here. I should have mulliganed that hand. So, like, that one was on me. They're just, like, forgetting that this thing doesn't make the mana for it. Calculated risk. Well, I think the hand, like... Maybe that hand's still not keepable because, like, I have two Mantis Riders and a Reflector Mage and one land. So maybe I'm still supposed to mulligan that hand, even with a Vile. But the Vile, I was like, well, maybe he's got, like, a clunky Blood Moon hand. And the Vile gets me there. All right, one the play. Let's, let's get one here. This hand's fine. <coughs> this hand seems quite good. Are you supposed to sandbag the Thalia's lieutenants? You know, like, wait until you have a bunch... Of, like, like in standard, you're supposed to sand... If you're playing mono red, you're supposed to sandbag your chain whirlers if you have a soul scar mage in order to get more count... More neg one, neg one counters. Uh, that's another thing that, like, I'm nervous about is if I go to play... If I just pick this deck up... Without having like enough time, I'm gonna look at my cards and be like, oh, this does this. When it doesn't. Human. Put this down. But I feel like on the play in the dark, I should leave in the Thalia. Play the Thalia on two. Or depending on what my opponent shows me here. If my opponent shows me like a Jun deck, I'm definitely going to play the Stalia. Um, my opponent... I guess I don't know. If my opponent shows me something where I have to go fast, 
Let's start playing the mirror. So I'm gonna assume the mirror is about size. And like leaning on my opponent. So I'm gonna get start working this here. White, blue, always yield. And then name a non land spells with that chosen name can't be cast. So I wonder if it's worth me meddling maging like Thalia's lieutenant now. You know? Like what's the most impactful card in these mirrors? And I feel like it's Thalia's lieutenant. Well, now we're just going to try to make a huge. So am I okay trading this for these two? I think I am. My opponent wants to do a double block. Should have single block there. That makes sense. So we hit a land here, it should be in good shape. If I don't, I'm gonna go melee mage on Thalia's Lieutenant. Green, white. Okay, there's another Lieutenant. Okay, so here comes another one. All right, Freebooter isn't really doing anything. It's interesting how he does this with the trigger on the stack. This makes sense, because it pumps this and it gets a counter. So many triggers, holy shit. There's so much going on here. <coughs> Land. An image would be great. Wow. Five. That was a great draw. Okay, so I attack with this, I trade, I can attack with this and this, because this trades with, either gets this off the board, this gets this, so no matter what, if I attack here, they're going to take five points, I'm going to get their champion off the board, and then I have, two, I have three lieutenants, so all of my humans are just nuts. I don't think I attack with this, because he goes here, yeah, I think we're just going to go like this. My opponent can go bing bing here, maybe chump this. Yeah, this is what they're gonna do here. All right, so they're just gonna take it, all right. I think this is a case of like, I was on the play and I got him. It's so sick how we just have like an anthem here. So this three mana means a reflector mage potentially. Like they can go. Okay. So that probably names Mantis Rider. Mantis Rider. Yep. This has got to be a Reflector Mage. If it's a Reflector Mage, I'm in a lot of trouble. I think we're going to name Reflector Mage with this.
I guess... I don't want to name Thalia's Lieutenant because they go to bounce my Thalia's Lieutenant that I want to be able to replay it. Wow, so many triggers. And I don't think I can attack. Because Violent Reflective Mage bounce this, this eats this, this eats this, they double block, where I just lose my entire board. Yeah, here comes the Reflector Mage. Vomit. All right, now things get hard. If they have any more Reflector Mages, this gets even worse. <clears throat> we need like a Reflector Mage or an image of our own. There's another Reflector Mage. This is a million. He's just like rolled up on reflector mages. Well, if I can survive and replay this, it's going to be good for me. Because each of these things get two counters. Because of Kessig Malcontent. That's so bad. So, what does that do? Two, four, six. All these gain a million counters. We're so close. We just got reflector mage out of this game. 14. So get that off, I guess. Yeah. Ugh. We just got beat up there. That's been the theme of the day. We are getting beat up. All right, um, so we're gonna take these hostage takers. We want those. Um, that's probably like it. We probably actually want the, the static caster seems okay, especially if they are on the phantasmal image plan. Probably these, these thal, we can decide what out these thalias here. I don't think Rex Sage is worth bringing in to shoot their, um, their whatever it is. A meddling mage is probably worse because of, um, yeah, it's probably better. I mean, this Necromancer is also good in the mirror because it just blocks and makes a whole lot. Like, anything that makes combat difficult is probably okay in the mirror. The Selfless Spirit. I mean, all these meddling mages are not good. Question is, do I want this to just blow up a vial? It's a lot of threes. I don't think I want this to blow up a vial. I'm gonna put one Thalia in because it is first strike. And if you get a bunch of counters on it, it's gonna be pretty good. Okay. Yeah, this hand's good. I said that I said I had champion into lieutenant last time and I thought that was gonna be good enough. So we're gonna go human. I'm probably gonna play the the freebooter before I play the no oh, shoot. Before I play the lieutenant. Because I would like to just get some counters on some things that fly. I'd like to sandbag this, I think, until I can be able to go wide. It looks like going wide is much better in this matchup than going tall. Okay, so they start on the vial. I don't think I can take a turn off in vial. 
So maybe getting the vial going is just like so important. All right, we're gonna try this. My opponent's vial was like really good last game, so we're gonna see if the vial is gonna help us. We effectively are now on the draw, which kind of sucks. Like we're on the draw and they have three more cards than we do. Champion and a noble, yep. They have another one drop here. They would have, they would have done something with it, or they would have like. I guess they might not have tapped their mana. I think they would have tapped their mana if they didn't have another one drop. So now I might have to make a Thalia's lieutenant in order to keep the battlefield, like at parity. Maybe I needed the Freebooter of the Lieutenant last turn to just be ahead here. Illusion. Can we just get this into play? Oh, that's cast illusions. Oh no. Oh no, this only casts for illusions. Yeah, I can't play it. I can't play this deck here without I'm just tripping all over myself, not knowing like the little ins and outs. Good. They're just getting worked. I think I can attack with this. I'm probably not blocking with it. I would assume that they're going to get my board. Like, I would assume that they're going to find a way to... Like, if they, if they violate their own champion, then I'll just deal with it. I'll trade with this one, then it'll be Lieutenant Noble Hierarch Verse. Yeah, here comes their own. This is another Noble. Okay. So you're going to crack me for five. <coughs> We're going to go up with this. Hopefully we draw a land so that we can either cast Mantis Rider or use this Resto. All right, so at least my opponent's cracking that, so they're running out of gas. Maybe we'll be able to fix our mess up here. This thing's going to be big. Hopefully we can fog it with a resto. He's going to crack us for seven here. Is it Staticaster would be sweet? Oh, here comes a Thalia's Lieutenant. Oh, Meddling Mage. What are they going to name? Is it Staticaster would make sense? Because if you just go... Brrr, They could name Mantis Rider, but they didn't reflect their mage. All right, so they cracked me for eight. I think we just take this eight. Definitely want to get like two things down this turn, so it'd be nice to be able to like resto. Yes. Okay, that's nice. Human. All right, I can cast angels. So how do I get out of this? So I put this into play with this, with that trigger on, bounce this. Or do I just get the Mantis Rider going, attack, leave back the, leave back the, well no, I probably just, now. I can get the Mantis Rider going, flash us in, chump here. 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna start working this Mantis Rider. Just try to get in the air. White, blue. They gotta chump. They gotta like try to trade here. I'll put this freebooter in. This freebooter is likely just chumping this next turn. Wow, they're on empty. That is, that's insane. We might win this one. I still think I'm gonna chump this champion though. Okay, so they played their canopy, drew a card. Okay. So my opponent definitely has to make some blocks here. I think we're gonna leave it at two. That's real good. We just turn them all sideways. So I go flash in, put a point on resto this. I kill my opponent. But that's, that's pretty loose to a Reflector Mage. I think we're just going to pass here. That was like a legit thing that I was just like, all right, we're going we're gonna to miss out on the potential here because like, I think my opponent's telegraphing a Reflector Mage. That's the only thing I think saves him. I think we have enough going on here where we're in good shape. We can flash this in, vial this in, get a turn, cast our... So let's get this in. We can take a look at least, see what our opponent's got. Okay, so they do have a Reflector Mage. So we get their Bile. So they have Sea Chrome Coast, Reflector Mage. They're just dead, right? Because we flash in a Flyer. And they can't deal with both of the Flyers. I am thoroughly surprised I won this game. So I don't think going wide is very good. We'll just reset our Thalia's Lieutenant. It doesn't really matter. Because they can't block two flyers. Okay. Okay, so on the draw, do I want a little more interaction? I think I do. 
I'm gonna want to like lean out a little bit. The Thalia's aren't great, but they're at least like even put they can get first strike and they get a lot of counters on them to be good. I think there's a lot of bad cards in our main deck in this matchup. But we're gonna try this. I think the Malcontents. Malcontents is like kinda iffy. But I guess the board's just gonna flood out, so maybe it's okay. I don't know. It's my first time playing the deck, so I don't really have too much too much intelligent things to stuff say. <coughs> just trying to figure this shit out. It feels like a super a super souped up game of limited. I appreciate Jez Diane. If you're still in the chat, I appreciate the follow there. We're getting close to a thousand. We were getting for 140 off, but that would be pretty sweet to hit a thousand. All right, we drew a freaking reflector mage. Yes. This hand seems pretty good. We're gonna lead on the noble. We drew a Reflector Mage. My opponent's got a Noble Hierarch too. Yeah. God, if they Reflector Mage my Noble, I'm going to puke. The Static Caster is going to get weird. Because, like, we each have our own stuff. It could matter if I get my... If I ever get Xanther Necromancer, hopefully we don't get... All right, great. All right, I think I'm just going to Reflector Mage this Noble Hierarch. Well, no, I'm not going to do that. Hang on. Or I can just start beating with my Mantis Rider. I'm going to beat with Mantis Rider. Like, let's just, let's get in here with the big boy. And then we can start Reflector Maging this next turn if we need to. <coughs> I'm definitely going to. Going to hit this next turn for sure. If my opponent plays another Noble Hierarch here, then I might just like flash in the Staticaster and just smoke theirs. Wow, they just scoop it up. All right, we won a match. It took us four, it took us five matches, but we did it. I'm gonna grab some more water. having a good day good night i appreciate it. we had a couple little follows i appreciate y'all for hanging out i said we're either gonna play this or or probably this here for the star city games event nope not the four color where is it the, right here i'm gonna play one of these two might play mario pyromancer because I can't seem to beat. The thing I worry about these shadow decks is if I don't have like a lot of sideboard respect. Yeah, that sounds very good. Then I'm just not going to beat up. I'm not going to win against these humans decks. I'm playing against Jund. Hopefully, this is Jund and not the Mardu Pyromancer deck. I guess humans is a good gun matchup. Like I don't a hundred percent know that for sure, but that's what the that's what the kids tell me. Both of these territories are probably gonna become human. Cause like this is double colored, this is double colored, this is triple colored. Casting the Mantis Rider can be tough from time to time. Yeah, because they're playing against Mario Pirate Mancer. Gross. Mm 
Okay. So we probably just play Meddling Mage and name Faithless Looting. But that's a card that lets them really get going here. I mean, their whole deck is turned on now. I really want to go land into Reflector Mage. Yeah, I mean, we saw that coming. They don't have any land drop. They don't have a land drop. That's good and bad. I think I'm going to name Faithless Looting again. Because they didn't do anything with their turn. They had a spare black mana. Is that a fatal push? Okay. We're taking about one more draw step here. I guess we can play Lieutenants. All right. We're going to take no draw steps. Jeez, man, we are getting worked. We played against a lot of fair decks tonight as well, which is just like worth noting. Okay, so all these come in. The Oriok Champions come in. Selfless Spirit comes in. I think that the Mages come out. There's like just too much removal. <coughs> Malcontents comes out. Um, the Reflector Mages are kind of medium. Or they're better. They're probably... The Hostage Takers aren't very good. Because like... They just get their things back. Oh, we want this. Let's cut... Shave one of these. Actually, I'm not even going to bring in the Dismember. I don't even, like, I'm not even, well. Yeah, I guess I should bring in the Dismember to deal with the young Pyromancers. Um, I don't think I want anything else. Graph Digger's Cage. Okay, this guy says Faithless Living and Linger Exult, so we want those for sure, I think. We just shave around the board, I guess. Yeah, let's try this. Let's try this. I would like to play first. All right, we're going to keep this hand. It is a little suspect, but... The Oriok Champions hopefully can take me to the promised land here. Actually, I just can't kill Oriok Champion, right? Protection from red and black. Yeah, this is just like game. Maybe like an edict, a Liliana to kill this thing. So <clears throat> I'm play this, then get attack in. Always yes. I hate all these like you may triggers. Like obviously I'm gonna gain the life. And the Thalia's Lieutenant should be good. At least it's gonna make uh we might be walking into like an anger of the gods. They probably don't play anger of the gods because they're you know a token deck themselves. But it'll be very I guess the one the only one that really gets us is uh damnation. 
I guess I sequenced this wrong. I could have gone. I'm down a point of life. That was a mistake. Could have had one more life point with this. Okay. So they shatter my cage. That's going to get them released in game. All right. I am going to hold that land. Because just to have like enough lands for like Liliana's. Or, um, always yes. Um, just to have like some extra gas. I guess we can get lingering souls out of this game a little bit. Like, the lingering souls can block these champions, and that's a good way that we lose. <coughs> We get Blood Moon, we get Blood Moon, I guess. Pyro. Pyro gains his life. It's kind of every token is going to gain us like a million life. It's a pretty great draw. Illusion. We're just gonna wait for the time that I can reset our Thalia's Lieutenant and put more counters on this. It's gonna get us four life too, because we're gonna get a trigger from this and from this. Get the resto. All right, got it there. I don't think I want to sideboard any differently on the draw. Maybe I want one more Reflector Mage. Can cut like another Freebooter. Yeah, let's try this. Let's try it out. I hope everyone's having a good day. It's kind of low key here tonight, just trying to figure all this stuff out. All right, I'm gonna keep. Maybe I'm gonna lead off on the hierarch and then try to go like hierarch, or go vile into Thalia. Probably takes my Thalia here if I had to assume. Yep. It's a pretty good draw. I'm gonna do the same thing just because I wanna like be more. Well, I guess it's all the same no matter what. So because I can like tap, I can put this self of spirit into play and then tap to get this vial, to get this noble in. And I just have one more counter on my vial. <clears throat> They're digging. Oh wow, they don't have a second land. Yes. I think I'm still gonna put this as human. Well, no, I actually have to put this as spirit in order to cast this thing. Selfless spirit's a good pickup. <coughs> Definitely gonna vile this in the end of the turn. It's just more mana. I gotta find a payoff here. We're gonna put this up to two. This deck has been tough. It's been tough to play. 
There's a lot going on. A lot of triggers. My opponent's got a four on their Bedlam Reveler account, and they're just missing lands. So they have nothing but spells. That's awesome. So, red, blue, white, put this in, target this, Just zap in there for, for a lot of damage. My opponent, I mean, obviously, like, my opponent missed a land drop, which makes this much more difficult for them, but... I would assume this is a fairly a very poor matchup. Okay, so terminate one. I don't think I think we're gonna leave this here. All right, let's start with this. Sack horizon canopy, draw a card. We drew another canopy. I guess we can. We should go again because we hit a two drop, which we did. All right, we've drawn well this this match here. I'm gonna have to. I'm probably gonna restart Moto after this match. Moto's lagging out quite a bit on me. So lingering souls keeps them in the game. Kind of like they have to chump. All right, let me go put my page up here. So I appreciate you all for showing up and hanging out today. My name is Dylan Hubby. I'm part of the Card Hoarder Network. Uh, if you guys have any Magic Online needs, you should check them out. Um, God, this, is, this lighting here is like so awkward now. Um, they're a great bot system, the best bot chain around. They have a great podcast. They're just good for the community. Um, Gamer Craze is another store that sponsors me. You should check them out below. Their Crystal Commerce is linked. They have a college environment, so they... Buy and sell magic at uh, buy and sell cards at a good price. Um, if you ever want to catch more of the stream or support me more, just head on over to my YouTube channel. That's the best way. Let me get some more light in here. It's so annoying now that I have like looked here. It's the best way you can support me is by just subscribing there. Um, and you should check me out on Twitter if you want to talk about magic. Need more light. I forgot about the light. Just. All right, that is less obnoxious. So let's hope Moto's coming back. So let's see how that does here. Yeah, and if you guys want to uh, support the channel more, they can subscribe to get the best emote on Twitch right there. And all subscription money goes toward making sure that my dog stays fat. All right, Magic Online's coming back here. I'm gonna grab some more water. I'm actually gonna put some tea on. Okay. Moto's tweaking out. Moto needs some time to think. Hopefully we can win these last two. We played a lot of interactive decks today. We played against like four control decks. We played against Mardu, Blue White Red. I don't remember what we played this first league. We played Ponza. So we played against three, three control decks. Three Farish decks. One Mirror and Mardu Pyromancer. Uh, I guess we keep his hand. His hand could go haywire, but I don't think he can. I think it's tough to mulligan hands like where you got interaction on two. And then like, we have a, we have a redraw. <coughs> Okay. 
Oh, I'm playing against Bazos. Okay. Well, at least my Freebooters should be all right. Because it's a non-creature card, right? We may choose a non-creature. So hopefully we can hit some of the more annoying enchantments. I well, you want to take this totem armor one. I don't think my opponent is going to... I really don't think my opponent's going to hold up Path to Exile. If they hold up Path to Exile, like, I probably can't win. But I kind of want to make it so that it's going to be more difficult for this thing to, to block this thing. Because I think they're just going to have a Blade Cover Spear out Griff's Moon. Because they go Spider, Umber, Grip Spoon, it's going to be tough to interact with this. You have to interact with it twice, sacrifice a bunch of our board, and they get cards back. Yeah, I think we're just going to take this Umbra and hope they jam. Spider, Umbra. One, two, three. Because if I just sit here and wait... Okay, so there's a Griff Spoon. So they didn't jam. They saw around it. Okay, so this this is actually so let's get in here and let's attack first. Pay path, we get a land. So now we just name We name, what's the card called? Grispoon Spider Umbra. So we name the Spider Umbra. Next turn we go double copy, probably name Daybreak Coronet and what's the other card? Daybreak Coronet and what's the card that gives what's the card that gives um Spirit Mantle? What gives pro creatures? Yeah. Spirit Mantle and Daybreak Coronet. Oh, they're humans. All right. Um, illusion. So I guess we're going to start with Daybreak Coronet. Okay, Daybreak Coronet. We'll play this out. Attack my opponent. Next turn I can like crack canically play another one named Spirit Mantle. I wonder if Spirit Mantle's worse or Ethereal Armor actually. Probably Ethereal Armor. Okay. So I don't know any cards left in their hand. Okay. So I think I'm going to name Ethereal Armor. Come to play tapped. Yeah, the armor is the worst one, I think. I'm going to hold back. Okay. Yeah, I still think I'm going to go with Ethereal Armor. Oh, my 
13's almost done. So let's go here. Ethereal. Ethereal. How do you spell that? Ethereal armor. Because this basically already has protection from creatures on this board. Now we pass, I'm gonna get my T. We got a reflector mage that core spirit dancer. They don't do anything, which is great. So let's start by cycling this. Yes, we just go blue. Of note, this Reflector Mage can actually attack through this, which is kind of sweet. Get that out there just to be able to threaten some instant speed stuff. This kid is also gonna be a good attacker because it can trade with this Hyena Umbra. We must just be like shutting down like all of their cards here. So I think we're gonna get in with just this guy for now. Oh, we might do it, holy shit. I bet they just drawn like a million of the cards that we already know we're blanking spider umbra with this. They rancor choosing this. This isn't copied. They literally hit the only one that wasn't that they had to kill. Oh, that's kind of funny. I still can't attack unless I draw something to pump it. I'm just gonna bounce this again. Yeah, if we win this game, this is gonna be just nothing short of incredible. I wonder if I just alpha next turn. Two, four. Six, eight, ten, twelve. He blocks four. I guess it's just yeah. He needs more blockers. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's only got three blockers. That's unreal. That most assuredly does it. Blue. White. No, I need to make red. Let me just turn them all sideways here. They block here. Block. Yeah. Holy shit. I never beat Boggles in game one like with a deck like this. Unreal. All right, so I guess I want Dismember. That's kind of it. 
selfless spirit probably can just bounce to reflector mages. And just call it a day. Reclamation Sage. Probably don't need the resto. Yeah, we'll go like this. I don't think anything else is all that good. Necromancer, like, might make combat difficult for him, which might be worth it. This member is probably garbage. It's just for whatever it is. The the it's, it's the only thing it kills is the uh, the only thing it kills is the dumb card that's important to kill. The core spirit answer. All right, so that's pretty good. Thalia is actually pretty decent against humans. <coughs> we have a good aggressive start. We want we just want to draw lands. We want to draw lands or we want to draw a vial on one. Like we go vile off the top, that would be gas. They what do they do with their scribe? They put a card on the top or the bottom. Put a card on top. So it's almost assuredly a land or, or a creature. It's one of the uh, one of the bottles. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get this Thalia down. Oh, I played the wrong Thalia. Oh my god, no. Now they can... Oh, that's so infuriating. There are too many Thalias. Oh god. Tapping, tapping for these on Moto is just... Unreal. It would have been nice to be able to shut that thing off last turn. A little meddling mage. Probably name Daybreak Coronet. Or does this take an instant or social? I could just take one. Yeah, that's what we'll do here. We'll go black. One. All right, so we're just gonna take the Daybreak Cornet. They need to draw another land for it, but like we just, it's the only, I think it's the only shot that they have. <clears throat> they can trade a land here. Oh, they just scoop it up. Wow, that's impressive. Beat the shit out of Boggles. I didn't think this deck would beat up Boggles. Look at this, we're playing for the 4 1. <coughs> I would like to play first. Uh, we got a good aggressive hand here. Maybe with this meddling mage is going to be difficult. Again, it's always difficult on the draw, or on, when you're on the play and you don't like know a lot. Hopefully, if they go, probably in the dark here. If they go like steam vents, I probably should name like a storm card. Can't imagine. Oh, we're on. I just, oh, I just F6 to my turn. What was that? Remoto struggles. So we're playing against Jund. I think this deck's supposed to have a decent Jund matchup. It would be nice to be able to have Meddling Mage Dark Confidant, though. I also could just image the con If I go Bob here, I can image it. Which is exactly what I'm going to do and hope they can't kill it. Oh, I can't do it because it's a uh, shoot, 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 shoot. 
then I can't cast Mantis Rider, so the only option we have here is go. And I think I'm just gonna name Lightning Bolt. Just try to like get rid of, try to get all their removal spells. Next most common one is probably, I guess it's kind of a mix. Wow, they're gonna trade this off? All right, <coughs> they must have another Bob. Or oh, this is like a Liliana. All right, we need a land that lets us cast Mantis Rider off the top. That sucks. So we're just gonna cast this. Tax our opponent a little bit. I mean, they have plenty of mana, but. I'm probably gonna ditch one of my meddling mages. I would like to be able to, in a world, phantasmal image like a Tarmoroy for a phantasmal image of Bob. They blood red elf here, they can't cast it because then it's in their sorcery. So, <coughs> kind of get them clown there a little bit. This is Meddling Mage. This deck has been fun to play. It has certainly been fun to play. I'm really hoping that I get the opportunity to Mantis Rider this thing down. That would be these. I'm really surprised they traded their bob away. But maybe that probably means their hand's just like stacked. All right, we have something to image if we can. Grimflare too. Oh, she's playing Reed Duke's build from his uh, video. Land. Oh, that sucks. A painful way to do it. Alright. So cavern. No, I should name illusion. That means I can't cast the mantis rider though. If I name illusion, <coughs> I can copy the Tarmogoyf, which is probably like my best thing to do now, and hopefully I don't have another removal spell. Because the Tarmac Wife holds off this Grim Flare. They just go Edict Bolt me, then like I'm just I'm just dead in the door. I'm dead as a doorknob. Just hope they don't have it. Come on, don't kill my Tarmac Wife. Don't kill my Tarmac Wife. All right, we're just dead. We're not gonna we're not gonna beat a hidden from the Grim Flare. <coughs> okay, let's see if we can not toss away being on the play. Um, I think I want Oriok Champion, Selfless Spirit, Hostage Taker, Xanthrid Necromancer, and maybe Sin Collector. I'm not really wild about Meddling Mage. I'm not wild about Malcontent. I like Reflector Mage. I like Thalia. We probably can get rid of a couple of these as well. So I want seven cards to bring in. I want to bring in seven so I can just cut two Freebooters. Probably can cut a Vile. Maybe I just want a Miser's Dismember. To kill a Bob or something like that, or a Scavenging Ooze. May I just trim even more vials and just keep in anything that does anything? 
But yeah, we'll keep the one vial in there. I basically want it on turn one, or I don't want to ever see it. Maybe I'm supposed to keep, maybe, I guess I'm actually probably just supposed to board them all out. Cause like, if you want a card on turn one, then you want four of them, you know? The Malcontent seems like a non-interactive, good non-interactive matchup. It's not super great in a place like this. <coughs> All right, we'll keep this. We get the lead on a good one drop. We're named humans. Hostage taker is gonna be good if we if we get to the late game. We could get wrecked by like a maelstrom pulse in a game like this. Definitely can't play my champion of the parish now. So that's pretty good. So I think we're just gonna be mana efficient here. We're gonna go human again. Play this thing before combat. Probably kills this. It's not, this is something that's totally worth um, imaging, in my opinion. I'm going to play a Bob here. Yeah, I'm definitely just going to image and copy this. Play this, make this an illusion. Are yeah, we just going like all in here? I think so. I'm gonna target this. Okay. Now we're definitely going. Going for it. So target this thing. Always yield. Always yes. I think I, mi I missed sequenced here, which is stupid. Lost out on a point of power on my champion. Always yes. That's dumb. Yeah, I just lost out on a point of point of power. So now we can't kill these. Like it's it's gotta be just like Tarmogoyf brick walls. He can Liliana his way through them. So we're gonna dismember that. In a heartbeat. <laughs> Definitely gonna dismember it because I really don't want my opponent to um I don't want them to kill my hostage taker, then get back and block one of these. Cause you know their hands just like mono removal. You may cast it. What is going on here? Okay, so you may cast it. So if I if I take a blood right elf, I can cast it with this thing. It's kind of cool, but we're just gonna take a Kalidus. There's actually I guess there's pl there's actually just plenty of removal, so we gotta kinda hold our breath here. That this works out for the home team. God, there's so many triggers. Just kind of getting out ahead of him curving here. <laughs> All right, Blood Red Elf and a Tarmogoy. So we're definitely just going to cast this to lead us now. Because I don't want my opponent to kill it and then be able to bring it back. 
Yeah, I think it's even worth it, even though we drew a pretty solid one here. Oh, we can't even cast it, right? Because it needs it's uh is it a vampire? Alright, so I guess we just play this out, name vampire. And then we reflector mage, the Tarmogoyf. God, there's so many triggers. That's the most annoying part about playing this game. The trigger is just unreal. Uh, bounces Tarmogoyf. And then, are we crashing in with this champion? Are we offering this trade here with this champion? I don't think so. And we're just going to poke in for two. They can't block it. They can't recast the Tarmogoyf next turn. Then we can attack with this Reflector Mage also. Got like a Thalia's Lieutenant would be the nut. As long as they don't kill this hostage taker. There's a Maelstrom Pulse. Okay. This game could get hard now. We have Tarmogoyf and, one other, and two other cards we don't know about. I probably just copy this Reflector Mage's Kalidus and crash. I just hope they are hope they're running on air. I think this Kalidus is where you should be at if you're gonna play Jund. All right, now we just smash with all the morons. My opponent can replay the Tarma Wife next turn. I go down to one. <coughs> okay, so there's Goyf. Bob. They need a removal spell. In order to live. I guess we just cast this. Make everything bigger. And then just crash. We get up to 40 life. Holy shnikes. These Oriok champions do work. Okay. So now that we know they have Kalidus, does that change anything? I don't think it does. I think we're just going to run it back. Makes this Xanthor Necromancer a little worse. But I think we're just going to submit. I don't think it changes very much. Oh, uh, yeah, that sounds pretty good. Keep it. We can probably going to have to hold this for like a Kalidus. Like, I really want to. I don't want to get got by Cletus, but he's probably only got more than two. Maybe two in the matchup. But man, that card's backbreaking. Now we just we need to hit a land. That's what the home team needs here. So I'm just like, I've got to kill this thing, right? Like I can't. Yeah, I mean, like, if you got the Cletus, dude, you got it. That card just absolutely terrifies me. <coughs> it's so good in all those of these matchups. We might be able to get under the Cletus, though, because we've got a lot of Mantis Riders. Okay, so they're going to find out exactly how many Mantis Riders we have. This hand's probably terrifying. They probably take, yeah. I was going to say, they probably should take one of my two drops 
in order so I don't go like two drop, two drop the turn after. Okay, Goyf. All right, so they're currently ahead on the Goyf race. Wow. Human. Let's, having the Seacrone Coast is so sick because we can also cast. We can cast the images. Bzz. I'm kind of nervous about Maelstrom Pulse. So is there a way that I can play around Pulse? And probably the best way to play around Pulse is to play like the Phantasmal image. Yeah, we're not blocking here in a million day, million years. It's gonna be an anger. Scavengers, okay. Yeah, now we're just gonna reflector mage this ooze. And then we're gonna start copying that. Um we're gonna start phantasmal imaging this reflector mage. This card's so good. Ban it. That just lethal. Potentially is lethal. It, it could induce a chump lock at least. Okay, there we go. All right, second league went four one. That's pretty good. That's gonna do it tonight for me. I'm gonna continue to play this deck. I think I'm gonna play this. I think this deck just feels very inherently powerful. Uh, I think we're gonna play it. I gotta figure out these mirrors somehow though. But I'm really glad y'all showed up and 